Well, here we are back in the workshop, and we're, we're going to do a couple of Atari Punk synth kits, uh, but again by Mitch Electronics. This one I found lying around. This is the version one. We'll do that first, and then I found, which I've just ordered recently. This is a version two. We'll do both of them, but we'll start with the version one. What have we got? We've got the circuit board, got some uh, trimmer potentiometers, uh, a couple of sockets and the 555 timers, some switches, capacitors, transistors, 3.5mm uh, socket, a couple of resistors, capacitor, speaker, diode, uh, potentiometer. There's another trim pot that should be on that pile there. And we've got a 9 volt battery holder and some wires. So, what we'll do first, I think we'll start by, we'll get these in place, the switches. We'll put them in and then we'll turn the board over and solder it. But these are all the uh, potentiometers, little mini ones. I've put them in place. I've put these in place, these are little switches. And I've put the two IC holders in place. And then what we'll do is, we will do the switches and the pots first then I'll have to put something underneath the IC holders all the switches. I just rested something heavy just so the pins come through and I'm just going to tack a few of these ones in. It's all looking pretty good. I've soldered in the two IC555 timer sockets and then all I've done is four capacitors here I've just put those in the two transistors, a couple of resistors and that electrolytic and then you can see the wires are there. We're just going to solder these in. Potentiometer, a jack socket, couple of ICs to put in a speaker to solder with a couple of wires and it looks like a diode so uh, yeah we'll do that in a minute
Okay, here we are then. So everything's soldered in. Uh, that's the battery connector there, 9 volt battery. There's your speaker connector coming off the board. You've also got a 3.5 in, sorry, 3.5 millimeter jack output and uh, switches, potentiometers. So we'll get it plugged in and see what kind of noise it makes. Here we have the finished item. Just a, well, just a, if you're making it yourself, uh, don't do what I did. These two transistors here, they're different transistors. Look carefully at the instructions because I didn't realise, I thought that they were the same. But they're two different sorts and I put them in the wrong way and blew up, <laughs> blew up the transistors and uh, I, I thought I'd, I'd put another potentiometer in but the original one was actually alright and I blew up one of the NE555 timers just by not paying attention and putting the transistors in the wrong way. This is how it works, so you've got the five buttons along the front here and you can, you can with the potentiometers here, the little ones, you can set the tones And then with the big potentiometer, that sort of interacts between the two NE555 timers. So you can actually play a tune on it, because you, you can tune the... And obviously it'll sound a lot better if you take a, a jack out of here as well. But it's a great little project. Yeah, just be careful, put the transistors in the right way. Yeah, just be careful with your soldering. These little kits were on offer from Mitch Electronics at the time, they were three ninety nine, So it's an absolute bargain. So we'll see you next time. I'm going to put together the uh, version 2 kit and then we'll just have a quick play with that and see what it sounds like. So here we have the uh, version 2 buttons here. And you can tune those to whatever you want. Uh, I'll see if I press this one. And then obviously when you go on the big potentiometer So we'll see you in the workshop next time.